Today I will explain you how we can make a drone mission with perfect radius for our flatland mission. So it's important that the drone has always the same distance and the gimbal is always pitching down at the right angle. And the best way to do that is with a drone blocks mission. So we can exactly say the drone how it has to do. I use Droneblox uh, beta version with sinus and cosinus. Mathematic function, it's important that we can program the radius. First point is the radius of our mission. You can always preview this radius on your location. And position 6 has always to be on the reversing point on the object. On each uh, mission position you can check altitude, longitude, latitude. So you can check the mission code. And we can also simulate different radiuses to see what's uh, the difference. Just click on the meter. I convert always meter to feet. It's more easier in uh, Europe to do that. You can see the radius is much bigger and also the altitude is much higher. In Switzerland we can with no problem fly to 150 meters. So that gives us big radius to uh, do flatland mission. I repeat six times every 50 degrees pitch angle. And then at the end, very important, you have to overflight your object. I do this two times. Then we can uh, start Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, load our eight images. And on the first image we have to have more space. I blow up the picture 300%. And then we have to put in the layers from the other pictures. We start with the first picture. And we can move it down until it's fixed. The sunflower field is a very easy stitching uh, mission. So for the beginners I recommend to do something like that. It's also symmetric. So we can uh, just cut horizontal lines on the images. I take the third picture. We have to move it down on the right position. And we can see there are similar uh, regions onto the image. And to fix them we can also make it a little bit transparent, the image. But before I do that, I take the fourth picture. It's always better to load all the pictures at the beginning and then to do the fine adjustment at the end. Next picture. As we use always the same radius, it's very precise, we have not to bend the images. Here we can see similar regions uh, too. To fix them uh, together I always make transparent the image. So we can move it and search the right position. This sunflower field uh, mission, as I told you, it's uh, very easy to do. The last picture. Here I have overflown the zenith point. I always take two pictures at the end. That's very important. And we can also adjust the position. Now we have all the pictures. 
can make the fine tuning on the, the image I cut off uh, parts I don't use for the image it's easier to uh, make the fine adjustment and as it is a symmetric uh, photo you can make it only with horizontal lines we will see on the other pictures uh, it's m much more complicated if the image is asymmetric we check all the layers and then we cut off at the final size the image and for the fine tuning we have to blow up a little bit the, the image size before we start the fine adjustment we have to fuse all the layers on one layer and now the easiest way to do the final part is with the stamping tool I recommend uh, to use a sharp stamping tool not to blur up the, the image in a sunflower field like this uh, it's easy to do and even in mountain parts with grass and rocks uh, it fits very well with very sharp stamping tool there's a lot of stamping to do and even if you use a sh sharp stamp there's no problem with the image uh, quality little bit the artist part of the final picture you can do it uh, as you like always change the, the position of the stamp if you do not change the position of the stamp you copy lines and that's not so good for the final image so every 10 images I change the stamp position and that's the final result of this sunflower field I change the exposure and everything is sharp on the image with the sharp stamping tool now one of my, my latest images asymmetric uh, mountain it's a little bit more complicated you have to cut off the image along border lines like grass, trees and uh, rocks. On this uh, Photoshop image I have already aligned every layer. And you can see how I have cut off the image the bridge or this barrel uh, was more uh, horizontal line stitching was one of my first I've done that's more easy to do and the radius from this picture was about uh, 60 meters On this uh, image I combined uh, panoramic pictures, I always took three pictures on the same uh, position, then I stitched them together. For an image like this we don't use all the eight pictures, the final image is uh, made with only five uh, pictures. The next one is a little bit more complicated. It's completely asymmetric rock, but very interesting. For this I used about six images for the final stitching. And it's always hard work if you have cables 
on the image for perfect stitching. You can see here how I cut off and there are some small layer bands I used and even uh, individual buildings I cut off on the image. This final image is my home region, my testing place on the sports place. And that was also made with seven images. If you have a lot of buildings, you have to cut off the buildings to have a good impression on the final image. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one. Thank you for watching.